game. So no, I'm back. And we know we got some unfinished business here with Joxer. Yeah, I really hope I this time I pronounced his name right. Because I got butchered in the comment section for, for mispronouncing his name last time. Okay, and I hope I'm not gonna do like I think I said Joxer, yeah, I said Joxer or something instead of G Oxer, Joxer. Yeah, I think I'm not making a mistake now, right? And you know, just like I said, there's unfinished business here, and you know, the new song. Well, it's not new, it's actually, it got released three weeks ago, damn. Sheesh, I'm slow. <laughs> the new song, made by Joxer the Zenith. I don't know what, what else to say, dude, I'm just... Knowing Joxer, it's gonna be a banger, dude, and I'm just, I just want to see where this is gonna go, so... Let's just jump in. Oh, okay, wait, we'll make it. So, climax, breakdown, build up, drop A. Orchestral breakdown? Wait, trans build. Wait, I'm actually getting excited. What is this? Okay, we'll make it full sound. Did he leave any comments? Nope. Oh, actually. Okay, we're gonna read that later, not now. I guess we can just jump in, dude. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna put that down and let's go. Yeah, I think it's the same character, like the in the previous song. Yeah, I think. It looks interesting. I like the blue here in the dining. Okay. It's like that. Some kind of. I don't know, like hidden effect there or something. It's interesting. Jumping right and left, okay. I want to constantly keep looking at this thing. It's a climax, so it's building up. It's a- It's five minutes, bro! What the fuck? Ooh, ooh. Wait, that sounds like Miku! The voice sounds like Miku. Or maybe I just, just realized it. Okay, never mind. Hey, hey. This effect for sure gives that like meek vibe. But dude, it's again Jogster. The effect of just adding the girl's like voice into the music, dude. It's so. Ew, it's so wholesome, dude. That's what I like about his music. Said it a million times, I'm gonna say it again. Okay, where are we now? The breakdown. I'm just. I'm interested because like. He plays these marks so we could know what's happening in the song. That's cool. Oh. Oh. Wait. Yo. Yo, I like that, like. Wait. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Dude, I love how he just, like, made the song, like, I don't know, like the. On the end of the breakdown, on the build up or whatever that was, the song was like about to like have a B drop, but like slow down. Like, I don't know, like it was so sick. And then again, like it's like a double build up or something. It like was about to go drop a B drop, it slowed down, and then started building up again and dropped the school B drop, I think. Five X event. The drop. Damn. Hey, 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 and slow down. Dude, I like the like little bunny here with like the moon. Oh, that's so cute. I love the, also like the details of there's like. Okay, so there's like the cute girl here. You know, you see that the cool hair, all that, the stars, the eyes. Eyes look actually really pretty. The cool bunny and the detail of like the demonic hands in like the previous song. If you watch the previous song, like the. Artwork had like uh, the same character. And there's like some kind of demonic hands, and you can see the same demonic hands in this one. That is actually really sick, dude. I love it. I think those are hands. I hope. Okay, so we're building up again. A a a a a a a a a. I'm actually getting hyped, dude. And it's five minutes, bro. A a a a. It's building up. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Again, the cute Miku voice. Yeah, I love the Miku voice here. Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh! It's against Luke! Dude, that's not a duck ball! It's about to, it feels like it's about to drop! <laughs> this part happens, like, slows down! And the beat up happens just like right now. The Miko is there! Oh! Hey. Damn! No, that's actually a clean effect there. Hey, 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 hey! Dude, I'm just surprised how good this song just sounds! There's just so much in the song! Hey, 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 hey! More details, they're just like, like, I didn't realize, but like, it's just me or this bunny's like, crying. Or in drop B, or about to drop C? Okay, what is that? What the fuck is that? What is this ma metallic robotic effect? The Viagra just fucking. Ah, oh, what is this effect? It's like. I don't know, like. Metal kind of. I'm lost in words, dude. I just don't know how to react at this point. Like, you know what? I just always try to, like. Try to find some kind of move here in my seat, you know, trying to do something. I'm running out of moves and out of words, what? And the clean just outro in the song. Man. What's up? Wait. It's like by not by maybe violin even. Damn. Holy shit. Damn. I don't know what to say, wait. Like, on the last, like, the outro. Oh, I got, like, the whoosh for Abandoned. If you know, there's, like, the other Joxer, yeah, Joxer songs. The whoosh and Abandoned. I just felt like this is, like, the combo of whoosh and Abandoned ending. I don't know. Or maybe he just, like, created the song, like, the outro that would sound really, like, chill or something, you know? At least it's me. Maybe I'm just going once again insane. Because, I don't know. The outro sounded really clean. The outro was, like, really smooth. But there's so much to talk about. I, I really don't want to make this video more than maybe 12 minutes. And there's a lot to talk about, right? Okay, first of all. Massive? Like, how many musical YouTube... Like, people who make music do this. Intro, climax, breakdown, none. As far as I know, there's zero YouTubers that I know that would do this. Joxer's the first one who, like, who's actually doing this type of cool thing. Hey, that's actually a cool thing, dude. Joxer, hey, respect. That's actually a cool thing you're doing out here. Love it. But I actually saw something really cool here, and I really don't know what is this is, so... Let's read. Okay, Zenith. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. is he trying to like introduce a new character? Because he did, I think, the same thing with a few other characters. I'm not gonna go into detail or something like that. Well, you know. Okay, for now, let's just learn more about this new character. I think her name is Zenith. Yeah, she used to be human before, but after her death at a young age, she reincarnated into a star. Oh, okay, that's actually interesting. But in the process, she lost most of her emotions and capabilities of feeling many emotions or even her empathy. She's minimal now and slowly learns to understand new emotions. Okay, it got dark really quickly. Okay, it got dark really quickly. Wait. She's troubled since she got struck with a little happy, happy emotion. Happy memory, oh god. Happy memory that she still keeps in her best friend and also romantic interest and she wishes to experience them again. About her personality... Wait, actually, let's talk about that one. That's actually a cool concept. How, like, you know, you lose who you are and all of a sudden you just... Wait... So this is a really cool character design. Wait... Like, like this. Oh god, wait. My brain activity just doesn't want to work in that way. Oh, 
it's actually a really cool design, like, what he did here. Like, a character that, like, got reincarnated, well, you know, the typical anime and stuff, but he didn't get reincarnated as something typical, he got reincarnated into a star. And, like, lost the memories and trying to learn all about the memories and everything again and all that, dude. Like, that's actually cool. I liked it. I like it, I like it. How about her personality? Well, she is what you could consider Quidere, since most of the time she barely shows disgust through happiness or strong emotion. Most of the emotions she knows are her attempts of copying them to look more friendly, alive, but is also her, her trying to get her immunes, human side back. Well, true, because she no longer knows what it feels like to feel anything. He doesn't. She doesn't know, like, any emotions. So it's all normal that she doesn't even know, you know. Only because I now I now realized, if somebody would say, "Wait, so no sadness, right?" <laughs> Imagine if somebody would lie and say that, ha like, happiness is sadness and sadness is happiness. So instead of instead of being sad, she's gonna be happy, and instead of happy, she's gonna be sad. Dude, I'm a fucking monster. I sh nah, 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 nah. We're not going into details there. On the other hand, her star nature is more prominent and she can be violent with other of her kind. Okay. Her empathy is minimal, so she wouldn't doubt, wouldn't doubt before killing another star if it means that she can survive. She could be benevolent with someone but she doesn't feel guilt from hurting or, or killing you mean this character and that like I think these are the same but I mean this character is gonna kill somebody <laughs> okay I got you a thought came to my mind about what came to my mind as I was making the song, what if I made a group that was just pure saw waves? I always loved how pure saw sounds and finally having a tune that demonstrates that, it makes me really excited. Ah, that's cool dude, the song was a banger dude, wait. First of all, one second dude, respect for all, putting all these like, you know, like marks, what's going on in the song. That's actually really cool. Second of all, the artwork is really sick. And third of all, how many beat drops did you beat drops did you have? Beat like at least three, I think. Two, three. Dude, Chuckster is actually just one of the most talented music. Like, I don't know, bro. He's just talented. Making music like this, there's just, like so much happening in the song. Also, like I heard Miku, dude. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going insane, but. Her voice in this song sounds like Miku. And for now, my favorite part of the entire song is gonna be how... Wait, I'm gonna find it and show you. I think it's this part. It's funny because like... Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, so it's building up. You feel like it, the beat up is about to come. You feel like the beat up is gonna happen now, like, whoop, 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 and you feel like it's about to happen. It just slows down. It just just does a 180 degrees turn and becomes slow. And I love this part about the song. And it's again building up, gets back into like the end of the breakdown, and it just then it goes with the beat drop. And the beat drop is also really clean. There's three different beat drops. I you would I probably would have to choose which one is my favorite now. Wait. All of them had something different to them. This one has that like jumping like doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, just like yeah, just like one constant sound. And then it just like starts like a bit glitching or something with like, you know, the girl's voice. So that's the first one. Then just you know it restarts again and it goes, you know, all the way back to drop. Now it does more of that like glitching effect, like not like but like it like jumps way more. If for example the first B drop, B drop like drop A jumped like four times, this one jumps like six times. 
And like the girl's voice, I feel like it's a bit extended. That's okay, that's cool. It's like the details. And the B drop D is like entire different thing because it's just like that electric, that like metallic sound in there. Ay, 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 ooh. Yeah. I don't know why. These two like sound real aggressive. I'm probably gonna go with drop C. It's between drop A and drop C, dude, because drop C has a like like something new, something cool, dude. Like that electricity, all that, dude. So drop C is for sure sounds clean and cool. But drop A, it's really It's really smooth. It surely is like really smooth and sounds really sweet. I like it. Also, ending is real nice. I love the ending because it like reminds me of Whoosh and Abandoned. And it sounds nice. I like it. It's like like the piano and the violin, I think, there in the end, dude. It sounds real nice, dude. Yeah. You know what? I gotta pick ending, dude. The outro. It's not it's not long about the B drops. <laughs> the outro sounds the best, dude. No, I'm kidding. No, like what? The outro sounds real smooth. And from B drops, I would choose. Yeah, let's go with C, dude. We can't stay with same thing forever. Let's go with something new, dude. Drop C for sure does sound really, really sweet and nice. And yeah. And the outro, once again, is real nice. And the build up. Like, the most favorite part of the song is the build up. Because it's just like, it builds up, it jabates you, it like goes all the way back down and again builds up. The B drop sounds also real nice, especially the C because it just has something new, like that electricity. And the outro is sweet because it just like reminds me of, just like I said, the uh, whoosh and abandoned songs. I know. The only thing left to do is just slap like. Appreciate the amazing artwork. Wait. <gasps> wait. <gasps> oh, wait. Right. Of course, it's going to be a little ad. Thanks, YouTube. Yo, we got the full artwork. Is there somewhere where there's actually a full artwork? If we would Google hard enough. And I can slap the like. Slap it. That's actually a full artwork. Now that's something you can enjoy. And the bunnies, dude, the bunnies are so cute. <laughs> dude, the bunnies are cute. And yeah, that once again, there's like the demonic hand. Damn, I love the design, like the scarf here, like a bit of her skin there, a cool tattoo there. Man, I don't, I think I know he did like, like we're going into details, we need to make this quicker. Artwork by, yeah, there we go. This is the guy who makes artwork. Massive props for him. Like, he is... At this point, I want to say go support both of them, because... The artist... Oh my god, I'm about to butcher butcher another name. Mikema? There we go. Mikema. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Mikema. I just started following him. I didn't know. Dude, his artwork... Wait, that's... Oh, that's fun. Wait. What? Wait, these are two... Bro, my fucking brain is not. Wait, is it some child? My brain is. N oh, that's the artwork, dude. There you go. Go support him. But my brain is just. Two different characters? My brain, bro. My brain. Wait. No, don't do me like that. I thought we were the same. Like. Uh, wait. Here's the artist, Mikema. Mi Mikema. Go support him. And Joxer. I'm in a traumatal state because now I feel like all I know is a lie. Ah. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the reaction. All this, like, dog, dude. All this art hunting, all that, dude. And yeah, love yourself, take care of yourself, and yeah, go support. Joxer and the artist himself, dude. Not only just Joxer, but also Mikame. And yeah, love yourself and take care of yourself. Peace.